Happy Thursday, everybody. And welcome to another cargo trailer update. Here we go. Here's the plan. It's my 15-year wedding anniversary. Wife's at work. Kids at school. Had kind of a frustrating morning. But nothing makes me happier than to come out here and make a little progress. So, today, just... A quick little plan. We're gonna take uh, some of that uh, underlayment, they call it, and we're going to skin this wall, and we're gonna skin that wall. We're gonna get some foam sprayed in that back corner because that hasn't been uh, insulated yet. Um, and we're gonna skin this. Some of that was a little warped right there. We might need to sand that down before we skin it because there's a little buckle um insulate that oh get a screw there's a screw missing there get that bad boy in there we're gonna use a construction adhesive and put the i think it's what is it six millimeter five millimeter four millimeter underlayment what is this stuff uh Five millimeter, pretty smooth stuff. I kind of used it to uh, paint some, paint something, but that's okay. It's not going to affect anything. Sand it up a little bit. Put some construction adhesive um, on the walls after I get them dry fit. You know, dry fit this one. Um, probably come under here a little bit. End up with a piece of trim there, or a piece of trim that extends all the way up covers the seam and uh get underlayment on that underlayment on that then i can put the faces of this uh soon to be cabinet frame um and then once the underlayment's on i can put my little faux tiles my little fake tiles everywhere and my wallpaper and hopefully kind of replicate this scenario that I have here and duplicate it over here just at different angles with the cool little trim um, and then I do want to get some lights under here and I'm going to put a larger when I face this I'll make sure that the bottom plate sticks down a little extra where I can hide some strip lights behind there and get the little glow effect going. And without further ado, um, I actually already have the frame to the left-hand door built, but have not put in uh, the underlayment behind it. So that this could be a good opportunity to cut the underlayment for that too. Um, and then I think I'm just going to add another piece of uh, white trim to the left to fill in this gap. I may put underlayment behind that just to kind of give that uh, shadowy effect or, you know, match this here to have the background be that uh, natural wood. And uh, trim this whole thing in. And then this area will be almost done. I think I'm going to end up rebuilding the entire door. Definitely going to redo the that whole scenario. That's all coming out. We're going to redo that. Then I'll be ready for some laminate flooring in the front. Um, then it's just a lot of fine details. Got to, oh, still need to build insulation boxes for these. I'm just going to put one inch insulation around the metal with a wood, um, you know, a plywood cover. I might even want to keep it black. I would have thought to paint it gray. But when I look at this like this, the black, the gray, the, the black jumps out real nice. Um, this is all powder coated black. Those things are powder coated black. I might just keep the, uh, I might even paint that black on these. You got the black table legs. And I even tried doing the vents on the furnace black. So, you know, you got the black fridge, black that, a little black on the black stone. Maybe I'll keep throwing up some black metal. Um, I think even some of my lights. I got some uh, reading lights. 
that are black. So I'm gonna just do as many black fixtures as I can. Now I, I kind of regret this. I kind of regret, I kind of wish I had done that in black instead of the brushed nickel. Um, that would have been nice. But anyway, we're chewing up time. Nobody wants to hear me blab too much more. But um, yeah, that's the goal. Let's make it happen. Welcome to another cargo trailer update video. Got a little bit of a, a conundrum going on here. It's uh, getting dark out. Well, I mean, it's, the sun is down. So I'm only getting 63 watts of solar. I'm running my AC unit and it is pulling 58 watts from the solar. It is pulling uh, well, looks like 99 watts. Of, oh, that's DC power coming out of the batteries. So the the shore power is feeding both the AC load, which I don't know why it's drawing 1376, whatever. It says it's only using 400 watts. And it looks like it is charging batteries at the same time to the tune of 827 watts. Very, very interesting. So, uh, just a quick little update on what it looks like when you're running shore, PV, and charging batteries at the same time. Happy Saturday, everybody, and welcome to another cargo trailer conversion update. We are getting busy, wife out of town. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what that means. Build, build, build. Um, today, we are working on and I believe in the little clip I had before this, we are working on uh, this little nook. And uh, it also looks like the door I built is not square. So we'll be building another door. But for today, we got the face of upper cabinet storage. Got a little wallpaper. Still working on that left-hand side door. Got to put some backing in that nook. Got to put some backing in that nook. And things are getting kind of messy, but um, we are getting her done. Uh, I just really like the way this turned out with this black stone right there. Uh, can't wait to rebuild this door. I'm going to have to do something super fancy with it. Um... But yeah, we got uh, upper storage matching all the upper storage here. Okay. We're going to be ready for uh, laminate flooring in the back. But it looks like we need to build a new door, which, which is cool. I had a lot of fun building this one. I may build a lighter one. That three-quarter inch was something special, let me tell you. Made for a very heavy door. So, I don't know. I don't think there's much salvaging it. It's not square. And the wall's not really square either. And they're not square in the right direction. It almost works turning it around backwards. <laughs> then it's unsquare meets the wall unsquare. But turning it around face forward, they're unsquare in opposite directions. But this, my friends, is looking good. So, got the kitchen dinette happening. More trim. Oh, yeah. It's a hot one today. 
We're getting her done. We're making it happen.